Here we have 7.2, applying the quadratic formula, exact answers. So the quadratic formula states, if you have an equation in this form, then you can just look at the coefficients here and you can apply them into this formula here to find the solutions for x. So in this example, it is already equal to zero. So I'm just going to identify a is the coefficient of x squared, which is positive four. B is the coefficient of x, which is negative nine and C as the constant, which is positive three. Now, when I plug them into the formula, it's going to be negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC. And every time you plug in a value, I do recommend that you plug it in parentheses so that when you type these things in your calculator, um, you do get the correct answers. It is very much possible to get the wrong numbers if you don't use parentheses. So how do I type this in my calculator? I type it into pieces. So I'm going to do this, this, and this. Each of those pieces individually. So negative, negative 9 is a positive 9. And then negative 9 squared minus 4 times 4 times 3 is 33 and 2 times 4 is 8 and if I could simplify the square root of 33 I would but the square root of 33 does not simplify so this is my answer now if the computer allows you to type in this symbol you can type in this as your answer if it does not allow you to type this symbol then you do have to separate this into two fractions plus and then one with the minus so depending on whether you have that symbol available, that'll tell you which way you can type in your answer. Now let's look at another example. So here we'll say A equals eight, B equals also positive eight, and C equals a negative one. So when I plug this into my formula, I get negative B plus or minus B squared minus four times A times C, all over 2 times a. So we get negative 8 plus or minus and then we get, let me see in the calculator, 4 times 8 times negative 1, I get 96 and then 2 times 8 is 16. Now the square root of 96 does simplify I get negative 8 plus or minus 4 square root of 6. And then here's the tricky part. I do have to simplify this fraction. Now I could type this in my calculator and it'll simplify it for me. But later on you will get imaginary answers and you can't type imaginary things in your calculator. But you'll still be expected to simplify the fractions with imaginaries. So to practice how to simplify, I suggest you just practice with the fractions that don't have imaginaries. And so what you have is you have three numbers here, three terms, two terms in the numerator, one term in the denominator. And if all three of them can be divided by the same number, then you need to do so. So eight, four, and 16 can all be divided by four. And so I have to divide all three of them by four. I should not be dividing the inside of the radical by anything because this is inside the radical and all of these numbers are not inside of a radical. So if I reduce um, this number, this number, and this number by four, I will get a two and then one square root of six. Now you don't have to write the one when in one square root of six. And then the denominator divided by four is four. So this is the simplified fraction. Again, if your computer does not have this symbol in it, then you do need to separate into two fractions, one with the plus in the middle and one with the minus in the middle. So it just depends on whether or not the computer allows you to use this button or not.